Hi friends, Vika here. Today I'm going to be talking about my February TBR or my February to be read list. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first book I will be finishing is A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers. I started it in January. It was on my January TBR. I got a third of the way through and I'm working. I'm, I'm getting through it. It's really big. It's really dense. And so what A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers is about, for those of you who don't know, it follows the life of a young Christian Jew who becomes a slave during the Roman Empire. And it follows her journey. And along with a bunch of other characters, there's too many to name because it's written all in their perspectives. And that that's about it. The next book I will be refinishing, finishing, because I did start this one too. I started this today, The Art of Racing the Rain by Garth Stein. And this follows, I'm 40% of the way through. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, <laughs> it, so this follows the journey of a family and this family's experiences, but the thing is it's written all written in, in the family dog's perspective. So it's this dog's journey and this family and his experiences and how, the, basically seeing everything from this these dogs this dog's eye and it's a nice sweet contemporary story it, it's good so far uh the next book i will be reading i will be reading in honor of valentine's day pride and prejudice is one of my all time favorite love stories one of my all-time favorite books and i'm just a sucker for when people hate each other and then they fall in love and in honor of that in honor of that love and experience i shared i want to read Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Jane Austen has a pretty um, consistent writing style from what I've experienced and I'm excited to read Sense and Sensibility for the first time. And that's literally it. I'm a sucker for, for Jane Austen and love stories if, if they're well written. I don't like it when they're cheesy. I'm lactose intolerant so when there's a lot of cheese, we don't mess, mess well, mix well, if you get what I mean. I know. Um, so the next book I'll be reading is Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. Mar uh, based on a true story during World War II, these three women and their experiences, basically unsung heroes of World War II and how, what, how they contributed and how they participated in World War II and just their stories. Um, I'm really, really excited about that one in particular because uh, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr is one of my all-time favorite books that was recommended to me by one of my best friends and she said that since I really liked the odd one, she was I would really love this one and everything I've read and looked and researched is everyone loves this book and it's just really really good and I'm super super excited about it. The last book <laughs> on my TVI list is A Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. Mary E. E. Pearson wrote one of my all-time favorite um, series, the Remnant, Car the Remnant Chronicles. Um, that's the last book right there in the series, the Beauty in the Darkness. And A Dance of These partakes in the same world as the Remnant Chronicles. It just follows something else. I'm not sure. All I was heard was it's in the same world. I heard it Mary E. Pearson, a new book, and I was sold. I have it on reserve at the library. I should be getting it on my Kindle any day now. So I'll be reading that probably I'll finish that one first before any of the other ones because it's with the library. It's only checked out for a certain amount of time. So that's all that's going to be on my list. February is a short month and there's a lot of exams and stress going on this coming month. And I want to know in the comments what book you're most excited for me to read. If you've read any of them, what are you reading this month? Have you read any of these? Just let me know in the comments below. I hope everyone has a great week. Bye now.